so here's what Maxwell Malt's history is. He used to be a surgeon, a face surgeon, and he would um, work on uh, people doing plastic surgery when it first started, I think in the 50s, my guess. I'm sorry if I'm wrong about that, but he, maybe even the 40s. And he would um, notice that people would be disfigured and they'd have low self-esteem, and then he would fix uh, their disfigurement, maybe is uh, ugly nose or something, and in their mind ugly, and he would fix it to what they thought was beautiful, and then he would see them a month later, and they still had low self-esteem, and he realized that it's not about what you look like; it's about um, how you feel about yourself, how you view yourself internally. It's not about the external, which is very deep, but. The problem is he didn't go through that. And I'm a big believer of someone going through the fire um, to learn something themselves so that they could teach it really effectively. And so my, my initial response is, I don't think he really knew what he was trying to teach or how to teach it effectively. So Maxwell Maltz's method is you visualize good memories, happy memories, successful memories of yourself being successful and whatever and you avoid all negative uh, memories like the plague and that's one thing that you cannot do you cannot avoid um, your, your negative memories it's like it's like stuffing yourself e eating food so you don't have to feel those feelings and face those fears you can't avoid a bully on the, on the schoolyard <clears throat> you got to face them and so that's one sign that shows me that he doesn't really know what he's talking about when it comes to visualization work and so forth. The second thing is his history of being a plastic surgeon. Um, he was always a handsome guy. He, didn't, he never went through the fire of having being disfigured. He never went through the process of being disfigured and then, um, having, and then feeling crappy about himself, then going uh, through plastic surgeries with another doctor having his face fixed, coming out still feeling that he has low self-esteem, and then coming up with this process of how do I have confidence? How do I love myself no matter what I look like? He didn't go through that process. If he did, this would have been much deeper. But the good thing about these, um, these audio tapes is that they are pretty fucking deep though. They talk about deep stuff from his observations. He is a deep guy. He talks, uh, it's a lot about visualization and so forth. Um, I don't want to get too much into it because I, I haven't listened to it in a while, but it's deep stuff that I recommend listening to because it, it fills your brain with, um, it, it helps it grow, it starts making you think, so forth. And this is not the Dan Kennedy version. I don't recommend that version. I've I tried listening to it and it's, it's just not that deep, it's not that good. I don't recommend that version. Maxwell Malt is a lot better. So that's my review of the Psycho-Cybernetics.